Hello everyone, we're back to Lemon Code 21. In this session, we'll learn the Golang modules. This video is just a sharing of how we use Golang modules, and hopefully it can help you too. Let's get started. Here's the agenda we'll cover while learning Golang modules. Before there were Go modules. When we create an application, we usually use libraries or dependencies from other projects. Before Go modules existed, dependency management was very difficult to do in Golang. Usually we will copy all the source code of libraries or other dependencies to our project. This makes our project become bloated because it is full of other people's libraries. Or usually we will save other people's libraries in the GoPath directory. But this will be difficult if it turns out that several applications need the same library in different versions. Go modules were introduced in Golang 1.11 and 1.12. With Go modules, we can create projects easily and dependency management is very easy. Create module. To create a new module, we can use the command go mod init module name. Golang will automatically create a go mod file which contains information on the module name and also the version of Golang that we are using. We'll start by creating a repository on GitHub for our module named Hello World. First, we create the repository on GitHub with the appropriate name, which is Hello World module. Once the repository is created, the next step is to initialize a Go module using the Go mod init command and adjust it with the name of the module we created on GitHub. We can use a command like this, Go mod init module name. After successfully initializing the Go module, the next step is to create a file named Hello World. Go within the module. In this file, we'll define a function called Hello World that prints Hello World to the console. Next, we'll push this module to GitHub. First, we initialize git within the module directory using the git init command. Then, we add the GitHub remote with git remote add origin. After that, we add all the changes with git add. Commit with an appropriate message, and finally, push to GitHub using git push origin master. Once the module is successfully pushed to GitHub, We'll release the code using Git tags. Module release. Golang integrates well with Git. To release a module, we only need to create a tag in Git. We'll create a tag for the first version of this module, which is version 1. To create the tag, we can use the command git tag v1.0.0. After creating the tag, we'll push this tag to GitHub using the command v1.0.0. Now, if we check the GitHub repository, we'll see that the tag vone.0.0 .0 has been added, indicating that our module now has version 1. We'll begin by creating the second module with the repository name MyApp Hello World. After creating the repository on GitHub, we'll initialize a Go module with the appropriate name using the command go mod init module name. Adding dependencies. Go get name module. 
Next, we'll call the first module into the second module using the go get command, specifying the name of the first module we created earlier, which is module hello world. After downloading the module's dependencies, we'll try to access it in the main file by importing the module and calling the hello world function. The output should match the output of the first module we created earlier. Upgrade module. To upgrade a module, we just need to create a new tag in Git. After that, we'll perform an upgrade on the first module to a newer version, which is version v1.0.1. We'll change the hello world function to return a string. Then, we'll push the code changes to GitHub and create a new tag with version v1.0.1. After this process is completed, we'll see that the new tag is available on GitHub. Upgrade Dependencies To upgrade a dependency to the latest version, we can change the contents of Go. Mod then change the tag to the latest tag. To download the latest version, use the command go get. To upgrade dependencies in the second module, we simply need to change the version of the first module to the latest version in the go. Mod file, and then run the go get command to download the dependencies with the latest version. Finally, we'll attempt to modify the hello world function in the second module. We'll take a new approach by creating a variable hello and printing that variable. After running the program, we'll see that the output has changed according to the modifications we made. Major upgrade. Major upgrades usually occur because there are changes to the contents of our program code, making it not backward compatible. It is best to avoid this as much as possible. However, if it cannot be avoided, the best strategy is to change the module name. We will perform a major upgrade on the first module by adding a parameter name of type string to the hello world function. Typically in the Go community for a major upgrade, the module name will be appended with v2. After the changes are completed, we will create a tag for the second version of the module, and of course, we will push it to GitHub so that the changes can be accessed by others.
To call the first module and the second module after the major upgrade, first, we need to remove the previous module dependency. Then, we will initialize the module with the go mod init command using the new module name. After that, we will attempt to make changes to the hello world function in the second module by adding a parameter name with the value lemon code 21. After running the program, we will see that the output matches the changes we made. Thus, we have completed the steps related to Go modules. Next, we can proceed with other Go topics, such as testing.